morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you'll stay and enjoy with, uh, uh, this program with us, uh, caregivers, mommies and daddies, and big sisters and brothers. Some of you may not have nursery school today, so you should have a fun time too. So here, everybody join in, and of course, always drown me out. <clears throat> so here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> especially on a rainy day, I know that some of us get sort of itchy and, and silly and wiggly, huh? So let's shake those sillies out, shall we? <clears throat> I'm gonna shake, shake, shake those sillies out. Shake, shake, shake those sillies out. Shake, shake, shake those sillies out. And shake and wiggle those waggles away. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my sillies out. Clap, clap, clap my sillies out. Clap, clap, clap my sillies out. And wiggle my waggles away. <clears throat> I'm gonna twist, twist, twist my swill sillies out. Twist. Twist, twist my sillies out. Twist, twist, twist my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap my sillies out. Tap, tap, tap my sillies out. Tap, tap, tap my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. I'm gonna slap, slap, slap my sillies out. Slap, slap, slap my sillies out. Slap, slap, slap my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. I'm gonna laugh, laugh, laugh my sillies out. Laugh, laugh, laugh my sillies out. Laugh, laugh, laugh my sillies out. <laughs> and wiggle my waggles away. How about that? Was that fun, huh? I hope you really shook it up, did you? Well, Wizzy Wizard is our little friend who uh, helps our caregivers understand what this is all about. Good morning, Wizzy. Do you have anything for us today? I sure do. I want everyone to know that singing nursery rhymes helps children get ready to read. <clears throat> Listening to rhymes help them hear the smaller sounds in words. Phonological awareness is the term used for the ability to play with sounds in words, an important skill in learning to read. So you see, it just isn't all silly nonsense, is it? No, 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 absolutely not. My first book today is The Wind Blue. Well, I'll tell you, we've had some pretty big windstorms, right? Right? And, and what is this? Is this a pinwheel? Right. And it doesn't do anything unless the wind comes. Now we can make the wind ourselves, right? We can go outside and let the wind blow it, right? And it spins, it spins when the, when the wind blows. <clears throat> the book I have today is The Wind Blue by Pat Hutchins. Oh my goodness, look at the, look at all the things that the wind blew. What did it blow? Oh, well, let's, let's look and see. <clears throat> Oh, I see the trees all bending. Do you see all the trees bending? I do. What's that? I see some little maple seeds coming out of the, out of the trees. The wind blew. Ooh, look, that man can barely hold on to his umbrella. It's a strong wind. It took the umbrella from Mr. White and Quirk quickly turned it inside out. Look at that, right, right out of his hands. It snatched the balloon from little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. And not content, it took the hat. And still not satisfied with that, 
Look, that man's chasing his top hat. It whipped a kite into the air and kept it spinning round up there. <clears throat> it grabbed a shirt left out to dry and tossed it upward to the sky. Here it is. It lifted the wig from the judge's head. Oh, there it goes. And didn't drop it back. Instead, it whirled the postman's letters up as if it hadn't done enough. Uh oh, that poor postman has to go and collect all those letters, right? The mailman. <laughs> it blew so hard. It quickly stole a striped flag right off his pole. Right. <clears throat> it pulled the new scarves from the twins. There they go. It sent the newspapers fluttering around then tired of the things it found. <laughs> it mixed them up and threw them down. Oh, look at that, all over their heads, all the wrong things that they had lost. and blew away to sea. You see the sailboat? Do you see the sail? <clears throat> That's the sheet that the <clears throat> wind fills to move the boat, a sail, right? And that's the Wind Blew by Pat Hutchins. Now you remember the sail, that's important. <clears throat> Listen to the wind, the wind is calling you. Listen, hear it say, Ooh. Listen to the wind, the wind is calling you. Listen, hear it say, Ooh. <coughs> <coughs> Well, where's my little squirrel? Oh, they're busy, busy, busy boys they are, and girls too. <laughs> frisky, brisky, hippity hop, up he goes to the treetop, whirly, twirly, round and round, down he scampers to the ground. Furly, burly, what a tail, tall as a feather, broad as a sail. Ah. Huh. Snappity crackity, what a treat. Crack the shell, ready to eat. It's a little acorn he has in his hand, huh. in his paws rather. <coughs> but he has little fingers just like we do. So it's sort of like a hand, but he's, he has paws. <coughs> and inside that little acorn is a nut that he loves. So here we go. Frisky, brisky, hippity hop. Up he goes to the treetop, whirly twirly round and round, down he scampers to the ground. Furly burly, what a tail, tall as a feather, broad as a sail. Snappity crackity, what a treat. Crack the shell, ready to eat. Oh, he does love his nuts. Well, early in the spring, before summer came, people were planting in their gardens, weren't they? And this book is by Jean Titherington, and it's called Pumpkin, Pumpkin. Look at that big pumpkin that boy is sitting on. I think he lives out on a farm in the country. <clears throat> and how do I know that? Well, I think you can help me guess. We'll see, we'll see. And here is the page. What did he do with that pumpkin, huh? Well, he cut
cut some holes in it. <clears throat> Jamie planted a pumpkin seed. You see that little seed in his hand? Uh -huh. That came out of a pumpkin. Ah, look at that. It started to sprout. Jamie planted a pumpkin seed. And the pumpkin seed grew. <laughs> a pumpkin sprout. Look at that teeny little sprout. Can you believe that that's going to be a pumpkin someday? Or maybe two or three? And the pumpkin sprout grew a pumpkin plant. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Jamie doesn't look happy about that groundhog, does he? Maybe the groundhog is going to eat those plants. I don't know. Maybe he'll figure out a way to stop them. And the pumpkin plant grew a pumpkin flower. You see the flower? Right. And the pumpkin flower grew a pumpkin. Look at that. And the pumpkin grew. Oh, good. The, gold, <laughs> the groundhog didn't get it, did he? He probably found another way to keep the groundhog away. And grew. Oh, look how big it is. Looks like he has some help there from his dad or grandpa. And grew. And what do you see there? You see a goose? Well, I think maybe he's on a farm, don't you think so? Until Jamie picked it. Now, I'm sure he had help with that big pumpkin. That would be very, very heavy. Put it in his wagon, and what is he going to do with it? And then Jamie scooped out the pumpkin pulp, carved a pumpkin face, and put it in the window. That's right, he made a jack-o'-lantern, didn't he? He saved six pumpkin seeds, look at that, for planting in the spring. Yes, he dried them out, kept them nice and dry, and saved them to plant again. Pumpkin, pumpkin by Jean Tethered. Well, let's see, here's my pumpkin. Do you think that maybe we could Make a jack-o'-lantern? Hmm? What did Jamie do? He must have cut off the top, don't you think? I think he must have cut the top off. What did I do with my own? <clears throat> and then he cut some eyes. And then he cut a nose. And then he cut a mouth, right? But before he put it in the window, he put, he put a candle inside. So he lit it up. And then this jack-o'-lantern was really something to look at. Look at that. All the light shining out of the holes. Right. <clears throat> Jack-o'-lantern, smiling bright, smiling bright, smiling bright. Which is flying in the night, it is Halloween. Ghosts and goblins, cats and bats, cats and bats, cats and bats. Ghosts and goblins, cats and bats, it is Halloween. Right. Yeah, let's sing that again, and I'll do it right this time. I forgot a whole line. Jack-o'-lantern, smiling bright, smiling bright, <clears throat> smiling bright, which is flying in the night, it is Halloween. Ghosts and goblins, cats and bats, cats and bats, cats and bats, witches with their funny hats, it is Halloween. Oh my, <laughs> that was, that's the right one. <laughs> <clears throat> well, here is a, a nursery rhyme. Old Mother Goose, Old Mother Goose. 
And here she is, older than the hills, almost as old as I am. There she is. <clears throat> Let's take the pumpkin away. We can take the witch away too. <clears throat> <clears throat> Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. What's a gander? A daddy goose, right? <clears throat> Mother Goose had a house. It was built in the wood where an owl by the door for Sentinel stood. Where did you go? My Sentinel here, he's falling over. There he is. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mother Goose came out and caught the goose soon and mounting his back flew up to the moon. So come on, you help me with this one. <clears throat> See if you can help me rhyme it. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. Mother Goose had a house. It was built in the wood where an owl by the door or sentinel stood. Mother Goose came out and caught the goose soon and mounting his back, flew up to the moon. <coughs> well, I took the witch down. Now I need her back up there. There she goes. And we have five little pumpkins. You gonna help me with this one? I know your sisters and brothers can help me. Right? Sure you can. Five little pumpkins sitting on the gate. And the first one said, oh my, it's, it's getting late. The first one, the second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, ah, I don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. And the fifth one said, oh, it's Halloween fun. Ooh, went the wind out went the light and five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Do they get scared, huh? It's only Halloween, right? It's only Halloween. This is fun time to dress up. So here we go. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, Oh, I don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. And the fifth one said, oh, it's Halloween fun. Ooh, went the wind. Out went the light and five little pumpkins brrr, rolled out of sight. <clears throat> well, that's kind of fun, isn't it? <clears throat> well, let's see now. We have the last book, and it's Hide and Squeak. Hide and Squeak. And this is by Heather Vogel Frederick. And it's a little mouse and his daddy. His daddy says, okay, playtime's over. It's time to get ready for bed. I wonder what's going to happen. Hmm? <coughs> Excuse me. And there is little mouse. There he is. Oh, he, he's going to be a tease, I think. Hide and squeak. You play hide and seek. Huh? Mouse baby, mouse baby, where can you be? I can't see you. Can you see me? There's daddy and little mouse baby behind the tree, huh? It's time for bed. It's time for sleep. No more for hide and squeak. Wiggle a whisker. There he is in the flowers. Ah, wiggle a tail. And there he is under the vines. Mouse baby dashes off. Uh-oh. But daddy's on his trail. There's daddy down in the purple flowers and mouse baby sliding down the leaf, huh? Looks like he's headed towards home anyway. 
<clears throat> Chase him through the back door. What a speedy little mouse. Look at that. He's going through a little hole that's in the corner of the door. Mouse baby, mouse baby, where can you be? I can't see you. Can you see me? It's time for bed. It's time for sleep. No more time for hide and squeak. <coughs> wiggle a whisker, wiggle a tail. Mouse baby's off again. Uh-oh. There he goes. But daddy's on his trail. What did he do? He climbed up in the lamp? Oh my goodness. Chase him past the sofa. Chase him round the lamp. Chase him up the curtains. What a plucky little scamp. Oh my goodness, he is a scamp. Mouse baby, mouse baby, are you by the clock? Is that the mouse sitting up there in the clock, huh? The one atop the mantle with a loud tick tock. You see those letters there, huh? It's time for bed, it's time for sleep. No more time for hide and squeak. <clears throat> Scurry up the staircase. Scamper down the hall, splash into the bathtub with a giant cannonball. What's a cannonball? Where you roll yourself up into a ball and, and make a big splash in a pool. Right? Always when your mommy or daddy are nearby, right? Never by yourself. Mouse baby, mouse baby, where can you be? I can't see you. Can you see me? <laughs> Oh, mouse baby, mouse baby's under the towel, right? <clears throat> Look beneath the soap suds. Look beneath the cloth. There's my little rascal hiding in the froth. Look at that. Daddy can't see you. You've got the towel all wrapped around you. Mm -hmm. Daddy's on your trail. Daddy sees your whiskers. Daddy's on your trail. Yep, Daddy sees your whiskers peeking out there. Daddy Kate <laughs> catches baby by his mouse baby tail. Ha ha, caught you. Well, I'm sure Daddy knows it's not gonna hurt him. <laughs> Swings him high for a kiss. Swings him low for a hug. Oh, I just love my mouse baby, says daddy. And then tucks him under the covers like a bug in a rug. There he is. It's time for bed. It's time for sleep. It's time for an end to hide and squeak. Very, his mouse baby sound asleep. Daddy's watching over him. <clears throat> and all is well. House is all past <clears throat> everyone sleeping. Even the humans that live there too. Well. Uh, who do we have here? Do you have a teddy bear? I have a teddy bear. Here's an old song. I, it was a jump rope song when I was a little girl. <clears throat> teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. And he bows. Teddy bear, teddy bear, climb the stairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Can you say good night, teddy bear? Good night, everyone. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Hope to see you next week. 
And by all means, don't forget to check out the calendar of the Rye Free Reading Room to see all the wonderful programs we have for all age groups, adults, teens, and um, uh, school age kids, as well as <clears throat> preschoolers. So hope my preschoolers had a good time. Bye-bye now. <laughs>